I move that the agenda be adopted as presented. Mr. Mayor, seconded by Mr. Levin. No additions? All those in favor, carried then. Disclosures of pecuniary interests, none. No delegations. Petitions and correspondence. Mr. Bouchard, there is a petition presented by Michel Lalonde requesting sewer services for Fairway Drive, Club House, David and Eagle Streets, as well as part of Caron Street. Seconded. Yes. Well, maybe we can ask the department, Mr. Bouchard, what's going on with this? Well, what we suggest, uh, Mr. Mayor, this was a ward that was located a little bit further apart from where the urban sprawl was initially located. And we're talking about houses that are approximately 25 to 30 years of age that are connected to individual septic tanks. Now, with improvements on the sewer system on Caron Street and with the secondary plan that has identified where all of the infrastructure lies. These people in that particular sector, sector now have the possibility to connect to the sewer system, bearing in mind the higher cost that people would incur in uh, changing their septic tank system. It might fall under local improvement, but it depends on the content of the departmental reports as to what um, can be done and taking a look at investments to be made, whether it's worth it or not. I would recommend that it be reviewed by the department. Is that okay, Mr. Leonard? Mr. Leonard, Caron runs up to where, or to Dr. Carpey? Well, a bit farther than that, yes. There's a secondary plan also being implemented, yes. But they're also going to propose a pumping station, one of the major, uh, um, uh, one of the major uh, developmental aspects of this is that there will be a pumping station, maybe a second one, but at least one. The petition stated that they were ready and willing to absorb the costs of a septic system, which which is a fairly high cost. Yes. All those in favor, then? Carry. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Well, we'll the directive is that it is sent to the department for further review. Yes. Let's go on, on to question period. If any one of you has any questions, well, notices of motion, is it now the proper time to talk about one-way streets, uh, Mr. Mayor? Well, the resolution has not yet been drafted. Well, all right, we're in the process of doing so. Please, well, we'll do so as expeditiously as possible, and I'll uh, contact you tomorrow with regards to that. Sorry about that. Let's go on to the report from the United Counties of Prescott and Russell. As you're all aware now, the uh, United Counties of Prescott and Russell will uh, remit $2 million to individual municipalities over a four-year period to revamp our roadway networks. Uh, mayors did insist that this be done and the money will be handed over to individual municipalities. There are $4.5 million budgets from the operational budget that had been earmarked for the Prescott-Russell residents that ought to have been included in a capital expenditure uh, project or expenditure. Now, the decision taken was to hand those back to individual municipalities. I won't. Mr. Lalonde, if, I, if memory serves me right, four years ago, you brought that uh, to the mayor's attention, and it was on a pro rata basis as to the number of residents. I assume that our amount will increase just a tad bit. Well, not much, but a tad bit at least. And it's Mr. Lavat, and that's going to be included in this year's budget, will it, Mr. Mayor? Yes. Was it uh, forecast initially in our budgetary uh, provisions, <coughs> our forecasts? No. Well, we had it in our books, but uh, not officially. Mr. Kehoe, you're quite right, uh, Mr. Mayor. That's right. 9.1. The uh, Let's go on now to alterations to the balcony located at the Presbytery. Whereas the balcony located at the Paroisse Saint Trinité Presbytery, 2178-2180 Laurier Street, is in very bad shape. It must be reconstructed. And whereas the presbytery is designated as being of cultural heritage value, and whereas the reconstruction of the presbytery's balcony as it is constructed today would be too costly, that the Committee of the Whole recommends that Council approve the alterations to the presbytery balcony as prescribed or described on the plans prepared by Mélanie or Micheny construction dated August 31st, 2018, seconded by Councillor Zant. You see, what's happening right now is that everything's built out of cement. We have to 
dig underneath there and shore things up now. Micheli stated that everything could be constructed out of wood. It would look as nice. It wouldn't need as much support, uh, supportive material to do so. All those in favor then? Fine. Let's go on now to the budget status report. Um, budget status report. Yes. Mr. Mayor, I move that the report number FIN 2018-048 being the financial operating budget status for the period ending November 30th, 2018 be received as information. Seconded by Mr. Cardarelli. Any questions? I'm sorry, uh, did I massacre your name again, uh, my friend? I apologize. And Mr. Cardarelli? Car well, Mr. Cardarelli. That's fine, Mr. Mayor. That's fine. All right. Sorry about that. I, I apologize. Mr. Cardarelli. I'll get it. I'll... You're, you're still in favor of this, are you? Yes. Ladies, you're here. Uh, you're appearing before us with regard to the petition. Well, it's already passed before council. <laughs> we went by very quickly tonight. And this has been brought back to department heads to look at it thoroughly. There are some projects that are ongoing that will be... Uh, implemented very soon, a pumping station also that's that Mr. Lennart alluded to that will be built. And we'll go back to you to let you know how much it's going to cost, what can be done. Is there anything that, you'll, uh, that you'd like to add, Mr. Lennart? A uh, brilliant recap, Mr. Mayor. There might be something else he'd forgotten. But you can stay with us, ladies, just to keep us warm because it's, it's kind of cold here tonight. If you have any other questions, please step up to the mic. Give us your name and your address if you'd like to get into further details. Mr. Mayor, we don't need to do so. I think everything was uh, recapped quite well. But we did receive your petition, uh, ladies. Everyone has a copy, and it was very well, very well uh, done. Uh, I, uh, we were we just here to obtain the information and to know where we stood. Fine, then. Well, that's about it. We'll give you a time to uh, warm up a tad bit before heading outside. I'd just like to uh, state, Mr. Mayor, to congratulate those two ladies that are with us here uh, this m tonight. It's a very important situation for many of our residents. They got together, they asked questions as to what could be done, and we let them know what could be done. But they went around to their own community and their neighborhood. They're very well organized, and they showed up here tonight. So I congratulate you for having taken in hand this particular situation and to be uh, for having been so proactive. And uh, I knew you from my door-to-door -door campaign. Well, of course, you're not doing your door-to-door -door campaign at this time of year, are you, Mr. Mayor? No, no, no. It's over and done with. 9.3. Let's go on now, Mr. Lever. The, the Committee of the Whole recommends the Council to adopt the tax administration policy as recommended in report FIN 2018-050, seconded by Councillor Bouchard. Questions? All those in favor? Carried then. Thank you. Let's go on now to monthly statistics um, construction. Mrs. Uh, Chouanier, I move that the um, monthly statistics uh, be accepted for information purposes. Any questions? Councillor Grimard, uh, just a comment. Commercial um, was pegged at $1.5 million with regards to new businesses and new real estate value. Now, we uh, went through an, an increase of 778% from one year to another. It's a very considerable leap. We have new businesses settling in here or setting up shop here, and it alleviates the tax burden. But there's an important uh, decrease in uh, household building, though. Yes. Fine. All those in favor? Carried. Protective services statistics? Councillor Grimaud? Certainly, Mr. Mayor. If you please read the department's recommendation, I shall. 
Uh, we can do both at the same time. We have two individual recommendations to deal with. Certainly, I'll proceed with the first one. That report number PRO 2019-004 in regards to monthly statistics be received as information and that report uh, number PRO 2019-005 in regards to monthly statistics be received as information. Seconded by... You're looking at me with eyes... One eye pointing left, one eye pointing right. I do have uh, questions here. Any other questions? All those in favor? Carry then. Any other items? Do you have any questions for any of our department heads? Councillor Lalonde? No. At this point in time, no. How about Mr. Levert? The St. Felix Road? Oh, I'm sorry, the St. Felix Road matter. Does that... Yes. Mr. Lennart, there is a citizen on St. Felix phoned up uh, talking about uh, with a complaint contain, concerning surface treatment that we applied, they went by with a grater with the, with metal teeth, you know, in the roadway, and they damaged the roadway. I don't, I can't understand why the grater went over there with the metal teeth there, you know, grinding through the street. They went, uh, it went uh, all throughout that roadway and went from one part of Saint Felix to another. You know, when we're asphalting roadway certainly not to have it done or passed over by a grader i can't understand why an experienced driver would do this uh, it frustrated uh, all residents in that area i can understand certainly why they would be frustrated i don't know what happened i can inform myself as to what occurred mr bouchard i just like to uh, congratulate the pickleball group their association it's a great movement promoting a great uh, sports activity and I encourage the community services uh, people to continue on with offering those particular services, sir. Uh, he left. Mr. Boucher just left. When he said no, the Bourget residents spoke to me as well as Hammond residents that did speak to me, people from Clarence that do play hockey that attended the Hammond uh, skating rink, they told me it was the nicest skating rink in the municipality. Well, they had, they didn't go to the St. Pascal skating rink. They didn't talk about the infrastructure, they just talked about the ice surface. Well, that's because of the volunteers working in that area and not the municipality of the ward. Well, yeah, but we're still paying for it. We're certainly paying more than Ottawa would be to maintain its outdoor skating rinks. Still, on a per capita basis, of course. Councillor Zant. Mr. Lennart, uh, for those tra lights that need to be replaced, uh, I know that the streets have been identified in which lights need to be replaced. Well, we're midway into our light replacement program, and all lights should be replaced or ought to be replaced because the contract has been given out, ought to be replaced by the end of February. Also, sir, I would like to follow up in previous discussions I've had with you, Mr. Boucher, that there's a notice that will be appearing in the Droit newspaper. I don't know if it would not be wise also to take a further look at all things that need to be replaced, such as lights and to such and the like. That was the report, Mr. Mayor. Remember that stated this has to be replaced, that has to be replaced, 
you know, yes. I believe that they alluded to the study in Le Drouin newspaper. They didn't go into any details, however. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Boucher. Councillor Grimard, quickly, Mr. Mayor, I received a mayor concerning a follow-up uh, I had with the developer uh, involved in the uh, Dr. Corbet. We turn left from Saint-Jean to Dr. Corbet. Now, the three streetlights there are completely burnt out, and it, it creates a very blackened patch around that area. I believe this belongs to the developer. We have we followed up with the developer, and uh, he hired a contractor to take care of that particular situation. Councillor Chouanier, the cul-de-sac on Dollard and the and uh, the, uh, the other street, La Pointe, are they still accessible for the vehicles going there? Or are they? compelled to turn around at the end of that cul-de-sac, I didn't determine whether it was accessible or not. Would it be possible to come up with any type of conclusion to that? Well, that's a bit more of a complicated matter. Uh, Councillor Chouanier, I can't answer you offhand as to, I can't give you a definite, definitive answer. Can something be done? Well, if you wish, uh, Councillor Chouanier, uh, I can enter into discussion with you at a further date. Uh, well, let me tip my hat, by the way, to the infrastructure department folks. Now, this particular weekend, now the snow, the, the storm that prevailed last particular weekend, uh, the streets were cleared quite nicely, quite thoroughly, expeditiously. They did very good work. Let thank them on our behalf. Thank you, I shall. They'll really appreciate that. So that's it. Adjournment is called at 8.15 p.m. Thank you and have a nice evening, one and all. Jeez, you won't even have time to say anything. <laughs>